Here's a story from Grandpa for my three favorite little girls, Emma, Ayla, and Audrey. Have you ever heard someone use the expression, he or she is a bad seed? What people mean when they say that is that they think the person is bad and causes bad things to happen wherever he or she goes. In today's story, the author takes that expression and writes a story about an actual seed who is very bad, but who learns to be maybe not quite so bad. Here's the story. The Bad Seed. Written by Jory John. Illustrations by Pete Oswald. I'm a bad seed. A bad seed. Oh yeah, it's true. The other seeds, they look at me and they say, that seed is so bad. When I think I'm not listening, they mumble, there goes a bad seed. But I can hear them. I have good hearing for a seed. How bad am I? You really want to know? Well, I never put things back where they belong. I'm late to everything. I tell long jokes with no punchlines. I never wash my hands or my feet. I lie about pointless stuff. I cut in line every time. I stare at everybody. I glare at everybody. I finish everybody's sentences and I never listen. And I do lots of other bad things too. Know why? Because I'm a bad seed. A bad seed. I just can't help it. Sure, I wasn't always this bad. I was born a humble seed on a simple sunflower in an unremarkable field. I had a big family, seeds everywhere. We found ways of having fun. We were close. But then the petals dropped and our flower drooped. It's kind of a blur. Can you see the rake coming up to rake up all the sunflower seeds and put them into a bag? I remember a bag. Fresh sunflower seeds, delicious. Uh-oh. Everything went dark. And then, then, a giant. Can you see the man holding the bag of sunflower seeds, popping them in his mouth? Uh-oh. I thought I was a goner. I thought I was done for. I screamed and I hollered. Ah! But I was spit out at the last possible second. I flew through the air and I landed under the bleachers with a huge thud. Thud. When I woke up, it was dark outside. A wad of gum had softened my fall. I felt okay, but something had changed in me. I'd become a different seed entirely. I'd become a bad seed. A bad seed. That's right. I stopped smiling. I kept to myself. I drifted. I was a friend to nobody and bad to everybody. I was lost on purpose. I lived inside a soda can. I didn't care, and it suited me. Until recently, I've made a big decision. I've decided I don't want to be a bad seed anymore. I'm ready to be happy. It's hard to be good when you're used to being bad, but I'm trying. I'm taking it one day at a time. Sure, I still forget to listen, and I still show up late, and I still talk during movies, and I do all kinds of other bad stuff. But I also say thank you, and I say please, and I smile, and I hold doors open for people. Not always, but sometimes. And even though I still feel bad sometimes, I also feel kind of good. It's sort of a mix. All I can do is keep trying and keep thinking. Maybe I'm not such a bad seed after all.
Hey, look, there goes that bad seed. Actually, he's not all that bad anymore. I heard that. And that's the end of the story. In this story, the seed became bad when bad things happened to him, but he eventually found that being bad didn't make him happy. If he wanted to be happy, he had to learn to be good to other people, at least some of the time in the beginning. And when he started being good, people noticed, and that made it easier for him to be good more often. So, be a good seed. Always remember that Grandpa loves you, and I hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.